Good morning, everyone, from Cave City, Kentucky, Wigwam Village number two. These things are so much fun, I ain't gonna lie. Today's mission, we're gonna go find some fun, quirky stuff around the famous quirky town of Cave City. So uh, I'm gonna be uh, leaving Jackson the RV for most of the trip and Sean and Jill are gonna be driving around. We're gonna get some breakfast to start, kind of find out what we're gonna do exactly and then have some fun. So thanks for joining me guys. I'll be uploading this video with some Nomad internet. There's a link in the video description if you need some mobile internet. Otherwise, it's quirky day. Thanks for joining me guys. Actually, our first stop of the day is going to be a local restaurant called... It's called Fibro Girl, says home cooking with a Texas kick here in Kentucky. We're going to try to get some breakfast. All right, we're inside Five Broke Girls Cafe. We're going to get some uh, breakfast here. Sean, Jill, and Mark. Looking forward to it. All right, got my fried taters, bacon, and eggs there. It looks yes. delicious. All right, guys, I shed the jacket because it's a beautiful 60 degrees here in Cave City, Kentucky. We must be at the quirky corner. There's a there's a T-Rex dinosaur across the street there with his little itty bitty arms. And have y'all heard of Gun Town? I think it used to be called Fun Town. It's 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 the Gun Town souvenir shop. I don't think the whole thing's open. Like like Gun Town Mountain over there looks like that's closed. It's like a a famous old amusement park where where you'd ride like ski chairs up the up the lift and stuff. But we're about to go see what might be open. Froggett's Gun Town Mountain. And look at this, guys. There's literally a haunted hotel, which is said to be the world's oldest haunted walkthrough. I'm super jealous of this arcade room, guys. They got a cruise in USA that doesn't work, but this Area 51 is an awesome game. They got a claw machine. They've got a coin pusher. I've always wanted one of these coin pushers for the house. I'm going to keep looking. And they have a working Pac-Man original. Yeah, that's an original with the Wells Gardner 19-inch 4900 screen. All right, so they didn't have any magnets. They're like on back order and stuff, but I got a little mug that says Froggett's Gun Mountain Cave City, little plastic mug. Again, I'm gonna hot glue a magnet on this and it's gonna be a custom magnet. So we are going to go check out the Haunted Hotel. Can you see it right there? That's where we're heading. They're gonna drive up, we're gonna walk up. It's $8 to go to the Haunted Hotel, which just started playing creepy music. Okay, that's weird. Does it know like as I walk up here? That's creepy guys. And the music just stopped again. It says, notice strobe lights in effect, narrow passageways. This is a haunted attraction, very scary. And the music started up again. All right, there's somebody hanging from the tree over there and a bunch of hands sticking out of the concrete wall right there. This is pretty scary, guys. Should we go in here? You guys ready for this? It says this way. Oh. Oh my gosh! Oh. All right, it's probably gonna get pretty dark through here. I'm just letting you know. Suck it in, big boy. Oh jeez. Yeah, it's definitely gonna get dark over here, guys. Oh. We should probably tell the owner somebody might need some help. That's what, should we turn what, on what a it light says. Here? Yeah, we turn on away. It's weird because you gotta go up and down as you're walking. Oh yeah, she's not creepy or anything. Yeah, so it's just been pitch black for a second here. So, oh my gosh! They come out of the ground. That's me. They grab your ankles right here. Watch out. Oh, well, apparently we're home, guys. It says home sweet home. Oh, jeez. What's that furry thing right there? Oh my gosh, that thing scared me, dude. It moves at me. There's no exit, but you just, you gotta use your hand and yeah, that goes through. Oh, great, another dark room. All right, go ahead and jump out. Do your uh, stupid little thing. Oh, man. Oh, jeez. Wow. And see these, they, they hang. So you, they hit you right in the face and it freaks you out even more. Oh my gosh. Oh no. 
that's a wall. Yeah. Oh, that's a wall. Oh my god. It's weird. I can't explain the floor, but the floor keeps going up and down. You really gotta go slow. See daylight. Oh no, it says emergency exit only. Um, okay, so I guess we're not exiting yet. We're gonna keep going down this dark tunnel here. Just as long as there's nothing else jumping out at me. Okay, we're going downhill. Bye. Ah, you f eat my is that it? That's it. That's actually really it. Oh my gosh. That last one there, that farmer in the plaid, that was bad. That's terrifying. Definitely awesome. Wor well worth eight bucks. Now, uh, I'm not a history buff on old stuff like this. Like, I've done Route 66 lots of times. This is my first stop on the Dixie Highway, and it looks like I hit possibly one of the, the best little towns for, for doing everything you want to do. That's going to be a monster video. However, Guntown Mountain, as it's called today in 2021, was called Fun Town in 2016 and earlier. It's also an older attraction that's been sold and rebought and changed and had different visions of stuff going on. I guarantee you that if you recognize me saying Guntown, you've probably seen YouTube videos of punks, and I'm gonna call them punks because I don't care, breaking in, uh, uh, disobeying, no trespassing signs, climbing walls, and going through that even though it's clearly marked. We've probably all seen clips. I don't I don't like to support those kind of people because I don't think it's funny or cute when, when you break and enter. However, my buddy Sean had a different approach. He's in the uh, Yukon over there. He started talking with the new owners who have owned this place since 2018 and basically said, what would it take to get a private tour up to Guntown Mountain? I, I, I don't actually know what Sean did to convince this guy, but the owner is gonna take the three of us up there. You need four wheel drive to get up there. And for the first time ever, you're gonna see a renewed look at Guntown Mountain legally. Again, don't ever go up there when they're not open. They are planning to open this summer, possibly May, and be open through the end of August. So call and make sure, or, or look online. You may be able to see this working. Uh, there's not gonna be any staff up there, but we are gonna get an inside look legally from the owners of Guntown Mountain, an exclusive look. And I can't wait. We just gotta be a little patient because they're doing a, a little um, escape room tour in there and then we'll head on up the mountain. In the meantime, there's a couple things we can look at down here at the bottom of Guntown Mountain. This is the lift, sort of the ski lift. And this is the area where you would, back in the day, get on your lift just like the Disney gondolas and uh, go up there. I don't think it's been in operation for quite some time though. No, it definitely looks closed down. <laughs> We're good here. That's too bad. Whoa. Off in the woods, there's a bunch of the old cars that used to be on the actual things here. They're up in the bushes up there. That's creepy. And uh, inside here, there's an original map of Guntown. Get a load of this. So they've got all the sites and stuff that's up there, how you could walk through. You can see there's a, a gunfight in the middle of the square there and everything. That's all up on the top of the hill here. All right, so there's the lift. Look at the freaking no, half dead clown head. sticking out of the dumpster there. That's creepy, but that's the lift. And our host in front of us is gonna unlock the gate, which again says no trespassing. And please, I, I'm telling you guys, don't do anything stupid. You know, uh, I'm, I'm lucky that Sean got in touch with the owner and that uh, we're gonna get a pretty cool look here in just a second. And up, 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 away we go. We are up here at the famous Guntown Mountain, and I will mention that uh, if you wanted to ask the owner to do the same, you can, you can even need a four-wheel drive. It is, it is steep on the way up. So this place should be open this summer with events. There's a schedule over here we'll check out, but you can see Cave City down there. And then here is Guntown Mountain. Let's go walk through. I feel like you could film a little Western movie through here too. Oh yeah. Oh man. Oh man, so they've had to do a few things off season to kind of combat the idiots trespassing and breaking into places, so that's why the boards are here, but but these will all come off later. Look at these old theater seats, these wooden theater seats. Those are pretty authentic. That's cool. They do events like gunshot reenactments and stuff like that. Oh, is this the bank? 
Yeah. This is like where the, the, the bank tellers would be. Oh man, that's cool. The old fan up there. Is that a safe? Uh, I guess it's like a homemade safe. Yeah, it's a homemade safe. That's cool though. I just feel like we're in that scene from Back to the Future 3, looking out, looking for, for a gunfight. And there's, there's our targets out there. Sean and Jillifer. Yeah. Oh, we got a comfy, cozy little coffin here. We can pose in the coffin. What am I supposed to do? Stop smiling and take death seriously. <laughs> I just stepped back to see all the signs that we were under the general store, the undertaker, the trading post here, and the office for the U.S. Marshal. And then here at the Lucky Lady, here's a good idea. If you guys want to pause the screen here and look at what their summer schedule could be, there's their times and everything that should be going on. We'll see. They even got the weather forecast printed right there. Sunny morning, then cloudy by afternoon. That's Kentucky for you. Pretty cool old town. I kind of like being up here alone. It's kind of kind of cool to not have a bunch of people up here. Oh, hey, we're gonna get a close-up look at the chair lift. It says the exit's over here. It's a lot like the ones that were like when you go skiing and you go up the mountain, I'm guessing. However, Sean just said they will still drive you up here. So you can still come up even if the chairlift's not working. And we got one more overlook area here with a little scenic view of Cave City down there. And if we zoom in across the street from where we're at, I don't know if you can see over there, there's a T-Rex and Dinosaur World is over there. I think we're gonna head over there next, actually. It's what? pretty pretty cool, man. What an experience. It is pretty cool. Thanks for saying something and getting us up here. No That's pretty problem. cool, man. Hey, I tell you what, if you guys wanna see more adventures with Sean and Jill with Eric, throw something down in the comments we'll do case, below. Case, and we'll do our, our Casey video I'll put in the video description too larger than life everything in Illinois. This is this is this is a cool place. Thanks for staying dry. No doubt. No doubt. <laughs> All right, left Guntown Mountain right across the street is now the quirky attraction. Welcome to Dinosaur World. Dinosaurs? Out front we have the tribe Scalosaurus here smiling at us, winking at us, saying, "Come on in, guys." and the entrance is over here. Look at that. And we're greeted by a yellow flyoceros here at Dinosaur World. Welcome. Sean's such a dork. He, dr he drives in at the gate playing the Jurassic Park theme song. Actually, it was, it was pretty cool, actually. All right, the long necosaurus, the bonosaurus, and the T-Rex sharp teethosaurus. An Agasaurus is gonna lead us in here. Pretty cool, it says gift shop open, museum open, and the dino walk is open. We're gonna go check it out today. All right, 1275 to get in. I'm looking forward to this. I'm not gonna make up dinosaur names for the entire tour anymore. We're gonna start outdoors here and uh, see what we can find. Lucky for y'all, there are some uh, names of these things. This is the Diplocallus. Okay, they look like Never mind, I'm not going to say it. And I did see something like this similar many years ago, maybe maybe six years ago in, in Oregon, there was a, a dino walking trail, the Lystrosaurus. Okay, a Dimetrodon. Okay, some of these names are a little harder to pronounce. At least they give the phonetic there, Lee, Lil N E N Sternus. They have like T-Rex arms. See that? Yeah. He looks like he just had an angry passenger on his back. He's not too happy about it. These are safe because they are plant eaters, the Massospondylus. Oh, I didn't even see you guys there, blending right in. They're called the Coelophius. <laughs> that is the only meat eater with a horn. See it there on his nose? Apparently they call him the Seriatosaurus, and the horn had no use at all. Just for looks. We got some Chasmosauruses here. Look at the babies. Guys, I don't want to alarm you or anything, but somebody is stalking you. <gasps> oh my goodness. Didn't, 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 didn't. I eat babies. Put the baby in my belly. No, don't eat us, don't eat us. There are a lot of dinos to see here. I'm not gonna point out every single one. It's pretty cool. It's a nice, nice little walking trail through here and lots to see. All right, and then we got some Brachiosauruses right there in green. And here in the valley, one more overlook of all the different dinos here. There's a lot to see here at Dino Land. That's cool. 
I enjoyed it a lot. I'm glad we stopped. I'll show you my magnet uh, here later that I got. I'm gonna be uh, cutting back in the morning as we maybe possibly check out one more thing tomorrow. But for right now, we're back to having a campfire out here and watching some YouTube on my outdoor TV. I'll cut back in later, guys. Good night. Yeah, so good afternoon, everyone. Today is the day that I do need to leave Kentucky and head on back in Illinois, check on base camp and the flooding and everything. Anyway, Kentucky's been mostly nice today. Sean and Jill and I, we went back to Three Bro Girls. We did breakfast the day before. We did lunch today. Man, their food is fantastic. It is amazing. They still have the best breakfast I've ever had in my life. And then we went out to several flea markets, several antique stores, and I got some things to add to my uh, Mickey Mouse collection back at home. Yeah, I think I did pretty good. A Kellogg's Keebler Mickey bobblehead still in the box. A new Mickey dragster racer that I don't have to add to that collection. Really old school plastic cloth Mickey Mouse there. A Mickey Mouse rolling toy, another Mickey Mouse rubber toy, a Mickey Mouse club doll from the 70s, a Mickey Mouse mug, a Mickey Mouse Pez dispenser, a talking Mickey Mouse toothbrush holder. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? A Mickey Mouse framed piece in a mirror glass with the paper. Anybody recognize these? Uh, back in the day when we would go to those fantastic carnivals in town, you would throw darts on the board and they would hand you these and they would they would look like that. <laughs> And also a Mickey Mouse sunglass pillow. Really good haul today. I remind my viewers often that, that, you know, I don't buy every Mickey thing, every vintage Mickey thing. I can't afford it. There's, it's kind of hit and miss with antique stores, collectible stores, flea markets, uh, thrift stores. You just never know what you're going to get. Sometimes the prices are like, oh. Holy cow! Other times it's a buck here, five bucks there, and so my collection will never have everything Mickey Mouse, but I'm aiming for the largest and biggest, most complete Mickey Mouse collection, and I love the vintage stuff the most right now. I also got a kick butt magnet from the dinosaur place that I forgot to show you, but I can't find it right now. I'll find it later. But anyway, Jax and I are eager to get back to base camp. So guys, we'll have another video for you in just a few days. Stay tuned. Thanks for joining me. Cave City, Kentucky was awesome. I love Kentucky. Just not so much when they're raining and flooding, but other than that, okay. Have a good day, guys. Bye-bye.